Okay, we are now just four days away from the greatest spectacle in racing, the 105th running of the Indianapolis 500. 32 men, one woman, made the race field this year. Our friend CBS 4's Lindsay Eaton is live at Indianapolis Motor Speedway with more on a mostly female team that's making a historic run at the 500. Hi, Lindsay. It's, it's really a great story. Hey, Bob. It is. It's a really cool story. Now, it was close, but Simona Di Silvestro is officially in. Now, this is the first time a female dominated race team will be part of the Indy 500, adding her story to the history of IMS. So, if you can see us, you can be us. And by all of us coming together, we're hoping to make that message very clear. A group of women proving there is plenty of room for others in the pits and paddock. These are just some of the faces of Pareto Autosport. The team is female owned, female driven, with a female forward mission. We're trying to do a lot more and try to provide opportunity and hopefully some inspiration both for kids and for women everywhere to, uh, to push and work hard to um, to also know that maybe anything might be possible for, for yourself. Beth Peretta is leading the way, forming the team through a technical alliance with Team Penske. I, you know, I've worked in motorsport a long time, and this is um, different than anything I've ever been part of. For her team, women make up the majority. Behind the wheel is driver Simona Di Silvestro, making her return to IndyCar for the first time in six years. I'm really excited to, to be here because I think we, um, you know, we have the tools to do something great. And behind the air guns, jacks and fuel hoses, more women with past experience ranging from the military to NASCAR, hoping their work over the wall brings a woman to victory circle for the first time in Indy 500 history. We've been working very, very hard to be where we are with the hope that they'll be walking pit lane for years to come, seeing more female faces along the way. It's so cool to be working alongside other women who are so driven to do what you love to do. I think it'll just open even more opportunities to, to other girls out there, you know, and also in different teams, for example, you know, just to, if somebody's good at what they do, they should also uh, get the shot at it. A lot of people for sure will be watching, including a lot of young girls. Simona will start at 33rd. Green flag drops on Sunday at 1245. And Bob, I can tell you just being out here, we're hearing the sound check, all the final touches being put on. It's definitely getting exciting. Yeah, the excitement is building. All right, Lindsay, thank you very much. Along those lines, make sure to tune in to CBS4 on Saturday night for our Indy 500 special. It is chock full of features like that one. Indy 500 history lessons. Mark it down. Countdown to Indy airs right here on CBS4 Saturday night at 7 o'clock.